Hi, I'm uh, Gary Paffitt, and today I'm going to explain to you my gearbox out of my Mercedes DTM car. Um, as you can see, it's a Hewland gearbox, it's a spec part, so it's the same gearbox in all of the 24 DTM cars on the grid. Uh, it's a six-speed sequential gearbox. This uh, system on the top here is the paddle shift uh, sequential system that we have uh, to help us get very fast uh, shifts. And as I say, it's the same on every car in the DTM, be it Mercedes, BMW or Audi. Uh, in the front of the gearbox here, we have the clutch and the flywheel, um, which this is where the drive comes from the engine into the gearbox at the rear of the car. So the clutch is also another very important part of the gearbox because that's where we you know, get our perfect launches off the grid for the start of the race. The thumb circuit you might only use from first to fifth gear. It's about maximizing your acceleration out to the corners and your, your straight line acceleration and speed. But also you've got to have the right gears for the corners because if you're either too high in RPM in the corner, it's going to slow the car, or too low RPM in the corner and the, the acceleration out to the corner is going to be poor. So as I say, it's really about adapting and a, a compromise really at every circuit you go to. Gearboxes are designed for performance, but they're also designed to make shifting very easy. So, you know, on some circuits, we could be shifting up in the middle of a corner, we could be shifting down on the way into a corner while we're turning. So we have a paddle up shift on the right and down shift on the left. And you silly just pull the paddle, it's quite a light paddle, and it changes here. And it's not that fussy, you can change up while you're on the brakes, you can change down while you're on the throttle, or vice versa. So it's quite a versatile gearbox. So actually, it's, it's pretty easy to use, it's very user friendly.